really the final issue I want to talk about is just uh, the lack of human capacity in Turkmenistan. And this is really the one thing that struck me that I think is, is, is getting even worse, that for 20 years you've had an educational system that's been gutted, it's been hollowed out, um, been forced to read uh, the Ruhama, which was Niyasov's own philosophic treatise musings. Ruhama education became compulsory up to, I think, 30 hours at some point from 20, became compulsory for civil servants, for even doctors, right? You would be tested on the Runama rather than, um, you know, your medical skill. But the accumulation of this is now showing its effects, that there is a real lack of technical knowledge, technical expertise uh, as a result of this sort of Runama-centered uh, uh, education. And, and so I think there's also the, the challenge that there's a real disconnect with how to, in a society like this, manage an external flow of information or ideas. And I'll leave you with this, you know, one final sort of recent example. The Doctors Without Borders were trying to do a, you know, public uh, health survey of um, certain uh, you know, diseases and practices in Turkmenistan, and their findings were very uh, disturbing to Turkmen uh, bureaucrats that have been accustomed to saying that everything is fine in our country, and so they got tossed out. So this is a, cul a culture, this lack of human capacity reinforces the theme that knowledge is power, right? That even really basic things like statistics and data are not for public consumption. They're not to be shown. So for all these reasons, we're facing real headwinds in attempts to promote change in Turkmenistan. Mm -hmm.